All right, Chris Richardson again with One Wheel 101 series. Today we're going to do curb drops. And if you see my previous video, I explained that it's, it's good to learn, start with something tiny, then go bigger, 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 but then you're really just rolling off something. To do a curb drop that matters, you have to have something that's at least high enough that when you roll off, your tail would hit if you don't do it right. Because otherwise, you're just rolling off of something. So we're going to just start here with a nice big curb, a big fat curb that's way taller than the board. So if I don't do it right, the tail's going to hit as you go down. And it's usually not going to hurt anything. You definitely want float plates on to protect the bottom of your board if you're doing any sort of drops. But it's unfortunate when you're first learning to ride and you come up to a curb and you're not confident enough to roll off it. So you got to go way around to find an a entry ramp or you got to pick up your board and go down it. It's a lot more convenient just to roll right off that thing. And it's fun. It looks cool. It sounds cool. So this is a nice big curb. We're going to practice some drops and I'm going to explain the technique. As you roll up, if you're going fast enough, you can pretty much just roll off, bend your knees, and you'll catch it. But I'm going to teach you the best way to do it with some subtlety, and it'll make it go smoother. You don't have to go really, really fast if you do the right technique. Your tail won't slap, and you'll do a nice, easy curb drop. So what you want to do is you're going to roll up to the curb, approach the curb, and you're actually going to press the nose down a little bit as you come off. If you're, as you're getting to approach the edge of the curb, and you want to time it nice, right as you're about to hit it, you push the nose down. So you're not leaning down. You're just going to kind of tuck that, the nose down a little bit. You're going to kind of get a little bit, almost like use your hips and kind of push it a little bit. Because you want to you want to create some distance so your tail clears before you hit. Uh, what most people do is they roll off, and they're kind of stiff-legged, and they almost kind of push the board down. Tail wax hard. If you hit it hard enough, or it's a tall enough of a curb, you're actually going to hit the nose, you'll fall, doesn't look cool. You're going to want to come up, push the nose down. You're going to kind of get, get light on your feet, bend your knees, push the nose down a little bit, and kind of, whoosh, it's going to be a nice lift off. You'll hit nothing but tire on the ground, and it's going to look good. So I'm going to switch, do a couple so you can see me do it, and then we can discuss. Zoom along. all right so now go out and try it let me know how that works for you this is a decent sized curb and if you do big drops like off of something really big you see me do some really big drops you know about a little over five feet almost six feet you're just still doing basically the same thing you don't want your tail to hit you you get that little bump off the edge where you kind of push forward and then you're floating keep your feet on the board gently Follow it down, bend your knees as you land nice and soft. It's going to be really easy. If you have any questions, comments, or if there's any videos you'd like to see, make sure you let me know, and I'll try to get some made for you.